is that the shortage of capital in Canada and Mary talks a lot about uh, what is and is and out there and the trends and it's great uh, that we have that information. But I think what it points to is that in Canada we have such a shortage of capital and we are a country of schemes. Canada's capital market on 3% of the world, the U.S. is 50%. So where do these companies go? And I think that all of the options should be presented to companies, whether it's private VC, whether it's junior public venture capital that we make available, and whether it's any. But I do think that uh, companies, and that's why forums like this are so great, really need to understand the differences and the pros and cons of all of those options. So as I said, and I really, I really mean it, AIM is a competitor and they're very aggressive, but they're different. Um, there, are some, there are reasons why, like Sam Vine, you might go and this directly on AIM. They were certainly able to get a valuation from some institutional investors over in London that they weren't able to get here. But I suspect they will soon need to list because of the benefits that I talked about earlier. The follow on financing, the liquidity, and the analyst coverage. So the more we make these options known and available to our emerging companies, the better off we'll all be and the country will be. Here. Yes, just a question on that. The, um, do anybody find any analysis of what happened uh, kind of in the last generation of technology companies? Because we have the same debate, um, trying to put the time frame on it, but whether companies should just list on NASDAQ or whether they should extra list. Has the CSX done any analysis of the impact on, on volatility of share prices of companies that chose just that, many companies that chose just that, that versus the initial listing? We haven't done any real hard analysis, Mary. We do know a lot of those companies, because they came back to us and told us, they were pretty much ignored. They were pretty, you know, once the market turned, they just became, you know, pretty much nothing on the NASA board. A lot of them did come home, a lot of them failed. Um, so I really do think the whole market is, is always going to give the company an advantage. You're, that's where you're going to get the core of your shareholders. That's where you're going to get the interest. That's where you're going to get the liquidity. Um, so interlisting is, is, is a great thing. I think solely jumping, uh, if the market's turned, it can really hurt you. And we did hear that anecdotally, but we did no hard research. Question. What differentiates a company that's never sued for a CCC versus an ICO on venture? Um, there's nothing that really differentiates the company. What differentiates the model is that at the outset, you have a group of founding investors who are, who are wanting to seek a qualifying transaction, who are willing to put up and do put up and go public in a shell uh, money to do that. And so you already have this public vehicle, and you have a group of investors committed and willing to give their time and their money and their mentorship to a private company or a private asset. That's what I think makes it work. So uh, there are a lot of private companies out there that should be looking at these CCC shells and looking at these founders and saying, is there a fit here? So it's a different kind of marriage, a different way of going public. But I think that's the model that really has worked well, especially in the junior space. Because you already have this team of officers, directors, founding, um, and, you know, founding investors who are committed. And it works very, very well. It is unique in the world. There's nothing else like it. Oh, okay. No more questions. Thank you very much again. Good luck to the eight companies, and uh, good luck to the rest of the day. <laughs> well, thanks for uh, sharing the successes of the venture exchange, particularly all the benefits uh, to, to the company. You know, clearly it's not for everyone, but it's a such a company profile and it's objective is an option you uh, need to consider. So after one minute, I want to thank you for sharing your process. <laughs> Begins five minutes, nine forty five in the room, so uh, they'll have to come to